Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel. Yes. We get to see the carnage. Damn! It's like it was just ripped from the earth, like it never existed. That's... what did this? It's like someone took a giant ice cream scoop to it. That's one way of putting it. I mean, I'd heard what had happened, but... Yeah. None of that prepared me for the reality of how it looks in person. That place you can see in the distance must be Crossbell City. But what's that blue barrier surrounding it? A shield of well, some kind. Well, according to info I got from the guild, Crossbell's got some kind of new power. And we're talking big, absolute power. No one's got a clue how the damn thing works, though. It sounds terrifying. Yeah. Anyway, that power was what allowed them to do this to Gorelia. It's just incinerated. It's also him. what's putting up that barrier around the city. Thanks to that, no other country on the continent, Arabonia included, can touch them. The concept alone is so out of this world, I thought my source was just messing with me, but now... Yeah. You can't doubt what's right before your eyes. Please. I'm willing to bet Ouroboros is involved in whatever happened there. Maybe. Wouldn't surprise me. Whatever happened in Crossbell, it happened at about the same time the war broke out in Erebonia. So there's every chance they're behind both. <sighs> Unbelievable. There's a lot for us to take in, and a lot of questions that need answering. Right now, I think we should focus on reuniting with the 4th Armored Division. We can think about what to do next once we've met with them. Yeah, you're right. The Proving Ground is on the opposite side of the fortress, right? Then we should head farther inside and... I cannot take him seriously with his glasses or the jacket. I'm gonna lose the unspeakable armor. <gasps> what was that sound? Don't move, Machias! W why <laughs> Landmine? <laughs> what, what the hell? It was a new model mine. <laughs> Thought so. Come out, you two. I know you're there. <laughs> oh, uh, you noticed. You haven't lost your touch, Fee. Zephyr. Weren't those two in Heimdall during the National Address? They were. And they were with Duke Cayenne and LeGram. I knew it. Long time no see, Fee. Uh, yearish, I guess. <laughs> Still pint size, but you've grown a bit taller, at least. Her muscular strength, reflexes, and agility have also remarkably improved. There's no stopping the flow of time, I suppose. Careful, guys. That's Zephyr's emblem on their jackets. Wait, Zephyr? That's the Jaeger Corfi he was with! Zeno. And Leonidas. Come on, there's no need to be so on guard. We just want to enjoy our long-awaited reunion with an old friend and comrade. How about you, Fee? Miss us? You're the same as ever. Although, if you keep using traps to kick off reunion parties, 
You won't have any friends left before long. <laughs> well said. Nah, don't be like that. That's just my way of saying hi. Thought it'd bring you back to the good old days when you used to play with them for practice. And I only set the one, so give me a break, okay? Well, whatever. You look good, Leo. I'm glad. Well, we haven't changed half as much in the span of a year as you did. Adults have a lot less room for growing, after all. I'm already 15, you know. Where have you two been all this time? I tried to find out where you'd gone after you all disappeared, but it was like you vanished from the continent. Maybe they did. Who knows? Anyway, uh, let's let the past stay in the past, yeah? So, uh, you up to anything fun? We're giving the Noble Alliance guys lessons on how to pilot those soul dots better these days. It ain't the most exciting gig in the world. They're not interested in learning from a couple of Jaegers, but they suck at piloting them even when they do listen, so whatever. <laughs> oh. These two are Jaegers, right? They sure don't seem that way. Well, they're old friends of Fee's. They're also just mercenaries. They might seem friendly, but don't let your guard down. Zephyr's up there together with the Red Constellation as one of the strongest cores in Zemuria. They're the real deal. Could have fooled me. So these are the people Fee lived with before she joined us. Okay, I think we better wrap up the family reunion. Wish we could catch up with you a little while longer, but unfortunately, we've got a job to do, and work takes priority. To confirm, you have no intention of withdrawing. None. We're here with conflicting goals. That makes us enemies. And that gives us no choice but to fight with everything we've got. <laughs> Trust you to know how this works. That's not how you hold a rifle. What kinds of weapons are those? One's a rifle and he's holding it wrong. The other's some kind of gauntlet. Blade rifle and a mechanized gauntlet? Oh, it's a All gun right, blade. Let's have some fun. Uh, he must be he must be the one who taught me how to shoot. Fight with everything you have. It's a gun blade. Unless you want to end up in as many pieces as this fortress. Oh boy. Okay, now I can believe they're really Jaegers. These two served as regimental commanders back in the Corps. Our odds of winning are 20% at best. Don't hold back. I'm not sure I like those odds. Like them or not, we have no choice but to bet on those odds. Let's give this all we got. Well, I was not expecting well, this, but let's I get really should have. Show us what you can do. Okay. Start with a flash grenade. Disorient them. Yeah. Of course, they resist the days. My turn. Get a motivate. All right, let's Buff do those this. Stats. Leave it to me. All right. Right. Northern Rod set up some defense, but I want to take advantage of that crit. Nocturne Bell. Chime in darkness. Nocturne Bell. And I'll be swiping that. Hope you're ready. Of yours. <laughs> Go and go for the You're Azure finished. Flame while I'm at it. Gather on my blade! Strike! You ain't gonna like these. Javelin throw. <laughs> They're gonna blow. Too slow. Here I go. Still feed me. What's that? <laughs> yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Ooh. It's my turn. Arcus, activate! Have some of this! This... This can't be happening. 
Instant kill. Aerial spike. Should have been paying attention. Damn. Try this. Thanks. This ain't gonna be easy. Let's move. Makes me wonder if I can even best them. There. Because they're resisting every strike. Too slow. Take this. Imperial fight. Okay. Arcus, activate! Huh. Thanks. Here I go! <laughs> Here I go! Jesside Rain. Okay, they've got- they're breaking out S-Crafts. They're not pulling any punches right in the beginning. You'll do it. You'll be genocide rage. Should have been paying attention. Here I go. This has got to be a force loss battle. I'm not doing any damage. Here's where the real damage. The are. <laughs> This doesn't look too good. Give it everything I've got. Uh, I won't give up. Burn to ash. Fall! <laughs> Thanks. You ain't gonna like these. <laughs> This doesn't look too good. Chime in darkness! Nocturne fell! <laughs> I'm not done yet. Damn. There! Ha! Yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry, everyone. I came across as a waste of time. Freebies on me. Ah! I'm I'm sorry, everyone. Oh shit! I actually have to beat these guys. Ah! Not quite. Ah! This isn't good. Ah! That all? This this can't be happening. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. This is... this is tough! I'm... I'm sorry, everyone. God! Well, let's get started. I'll handle This is it. the first real boss fight! Level 55. Crap master. Known as Behemoth, uses mechanized gauntlets to pulverize all in his path. They have a resistances against all elements. Here I go. Leave this to me. Time barrier. Break! Ha. 
Let's move. All right, let's do this. Yeah, leave it, leave to, it me. to me. Okay. Keep it up, everyone. Get those buffs up. You ain't gonna like these. Ha! Mm. Uh, I'll handle it. Damn, he's Not fast. Uh. Okay. One, two, huh? and death. Got it. Got you. Here I go. Huh. Okay. Hey. Right. Eat that. I'll handle it. Was that necessary? This can't be happening. Okay. I appreciate it. Too slow. Okay. Here I go. Here I go. It's my turn. Try this. I appreciate it. Here I go. Is that necessary? Fly! It's my turn. Eat that. Now's our chance. Burst. Time to finish them off. Leave it to Leave me. It to me. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. You kids aren't bad. Hmm. Not bad. My turn. Fee, you that need all? to do better than that. Here I go. Second form. Damn! Now! You're open! Here I go. Uh -oh. You'll do it. Done yet. But you 
will be genocide rage! Ah! It's my turn! Okay, I just had to endure. That was just an endurance round. Jeez. They're monsters. They're still holding back, too. Not bad for being only students. You show great potential. Piss off! Your academy training seems to have paid off. It's not easy to keep up with feet. <laughs> You think they can handle us if we kicked it up a notch? I'm game if you are, Leo. Who else is up for round two? Ah, should have known they weren't even trying. That 20% is looking more like zero right now. Call upon thine power. What do you all think you're doing? Panzers. Shit. Soldats? The one at the front is like the soldat Scarlet was piloting near Trista. What are they doing coming from the by road? I get it now. The attack from the Transcontinental Railroad was just a diversion. They were intending to launch a surprise attack from the flank all along. What are civilians doing here? Or Zephyr for that matter? First you disappear when you're supposed to be taking part in our operation, and then you wind up here? Be gone! You're in our way! <sighs> Round two's gonna have to wait, I guess. Bummer. I was hoping to get a chance to try my luck against that famous knight, too. I had some traps specially made for it and everything. You'll get your chance eventually. We should stand down for now, and watch from above. What should we do? We don't have to worry about Zeno and Leo now, but we're not out of danger yet. After how much trouble it was to defeat one soldat back near Trista, not out of danger is an understatement. Yeah, and it was one of those against all of Class 7. Stand back, everyone. Are you? Wait, you're gonna call Valimar? It's the only choice we have! Heed my call. Valimar, Valimar the, the Ashen, Ashen Knight! Knight! Acknowledged. What's that sound? It's coming from the sky over there. Is it an Imperial Army airship? In the world? Is that the thing they mentioned in the report? What the? An ash-colored knight? Why? Why is it here? You... you can't be! Oh, he really came. Whoa, this is amazing! Sorry for leaving this to you, Reen. We're counting on you. Right! Shouldn't need to worry about fighting on borrowed time like before. We're up against an awful lot of them, though. If only we had some kind of weapon. Oh, that won't be an issue. There are plenty of potential weapons right there in front of us.
<laughs> Clever. If that's what you have in mind, we'd best concentrate our attacks on one of them and snatch it away as quickly as possible. That's the plan. Valimar, here we go! Acknowledged. All right, you ready? Oh my god, I have to fight two of these <laughs> things. Yeah, I can, I can figure that out. Let's go! Check! Preparing for something. Let's go for the head. It's exposed. Curse you! And a crit at that. Good finisher. It's down! Now! Destructive impact! Glad that it worked. This is where the real battle begins. Yeah! That's Irene! That was quite an impressive plan. What the? Huh? Are your Arcuses resonating with one another? Go ahead and show me what you can do. Oh shit, one of them's got a gun. I can now perform EX arts. Oh wow. Okay, so they play a role. Let's go. Gotcha. It's working. Keep it up. Leave this to me. Gotcha! Time! Yeah. That's it! 
gets a little more. Well, he's getting ready for something, but don't leave your head exposed. Now, my sword will cleave open the way. Yo, this is really friggin' cool! Wait, just one more! Bring it on! Let's take a defensive stance. Leave this to me! I'll lend you a hand! Get some heals in. Is that all? Gotcha! Now! Gotcha! Leave this to me! Can you handle this? I'll try at least. Try this! Really cool. This is the most anime thing ever, and I love it. That's it. Just a little more. Right. Give up. Yo, Rain! He's got this. That he does. He's turned this whole situation around. Sir, this battle isn't over yet. We still have the advantage in numbers. If we can surround him, victory will be ours. Enough! What? Th that sounds like... Craig the Red. You're kidding me! Is it head? The Fourth Armored Division? How are they here? They're supposed to be dealing with the force of the Transcontinental Railroad! I'm pretty sure they did. Bah! Nothing more than a small diversion! And I suggest you turn and run off with your tails between your legs if you don't want to share their fate! Damn! Unless you men think you can handle the might of the 4th Armored Division! <sighs> Curse you, Craig! Fine. If that's how you want to play, we'll just have to call. What the? Are you alright, sir? A sniper? Where are they? What just happened? Who the? Claire! 
I've taken out the commander's sensor. What's the situation with Zephyr? Both are standing by at five o'clock. No signs of movement. That sounded like Sarah. Acknowledged. Ignore them for now. Focus your attention on the highway instead. Yes, ma'am. I could just be wrong. Maybe just maybe it's the same voice actor. If she can aim that precisely from that far away, we're likely in her sights too. The icy maiden has certainly earned her reputation. Wouldn't want to try my luck against her. Not right now, anyway. Not much we can do while she's all the way over there. And if you try to get involved in that, the Ashen Knight will cut you in half like a strip of meat. Besides, uh, I think it's about time we called it a day. We're taking off, Fee. See you some other time, okay? Be sure to keep up with your training. You'll need it if you want to make it through this war unscathed. These two are interesting. They do seem to care a lot about Fee. Bye-bye. I mean that damn Jaegers think they are to retreat without orders. The same type of Jaegers to show up in this place without orders. All units, fall back! We're returning to the Twin Dragons Bridge! Yes, sir! Phew. Looks like we're safe now. Hey, nice work out there. Whew. I felt uncomfortably close to death one or four too many times. At least it's all over with now. Dad! Thank goodness you're all right! Elliot! Olaf Craig. That's the famous Craig the Red, huh? Looks like the real model of a scary-ass military officer. About that. That's what everyone thinks at first. He has got to be the most doting father ever. Oh! My beloved gift from Adios! <laughs> why, why, why did you talk? Come here into your father's loving <laughs> embrace! And this is the guy that wanted to send her away from music? In no way, Dad! I mean, I'm glad you haven't changed, but... Dad! Nonsense! You were raised in my arms, my boy! What's another two or three minutes more? I can tell you've lost some weight, but you're otherwise as fit as your fiddles. Oh, it's so good to see you again! <laughs> you too! But you're seriously hurting me now. Please loosen your grip some. That thing I said earlier, I take it back. His personality changes drastically when he's on the tank. <laughs> yeah, everyone reacts like that. Elliot seems really happy though. Yeah, it's great to see them together again. I'm pleased to see that everything went well. Uh, I Clara. thought it was you. Looks like you're from the Railway Military Police. Then you must be... It's a pleasure to see you again, Captain. <laughs> Likewise. Captain Claire... Revelt. Yes, sir. I'm Captain Claire Revelt of the RMP. Revelt. It sounds as though we have plenty to discuss. Perhaps in a more fitting location. Follow me, if you would.
I'd like to begin by congratulating you on making it all the way here. I would like you to wrap up this whole thing because I don't need to record any more than this, and I got shit to, shit to do, so please be snappy. I'm overjoyed to see you all again. The same to you, Captain. I had no idea what had happened to you after Heimdall's occupation. It's a huge relief to see you made it out okay. <laughs> Funny. I was just as concerned for all of you. As for you, I believe it's the first time we've had the pleasure of meeting. You're Tovel Rondenor of the Bracer Guild, yes? One of Sarah's co-workers. Wow, you've actually heard of me? Though, to tell you the truth, I've heard more than my fair share of stories about you from Sarah, too. Kinda surprising to see you with the 4th Armored Division. She got in touch with us soon after the war broke out, in fact. She then mobilized the RMP to guide us to this proving ground so that we could establish a base. We wouldn't be here now if not for her. Wow, really? I see your ability to make good, quick judgments is still intact. Reorganizing the divided divisions was of the utmost importance. I simply did what I had to do. I was concerned about His Excellency and what was happening in the capital. But he always told me to act objectively in times of crisis. Oh. My, uh, my apologies, Captain. I'd almost forgotten that she was right there in the capital when her boss was assassinated. And by none other than Crow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Where's Instructor Neidhart anyway? I thought he would be here with you, Dad. He hasn't been back to this division, no. We had no idea whatsoever of his whereabouts until a few days ago. But then he was finally able to get in contact and inform us that he was well. That's good news. Either way, it sounds like you can't be too careful. This base is held so far, but there's no guarantee that'll always be the case. I wish I could deny that. The Noble Alliance is starting to put more and more resources into trying to finish us off. We know how to deal with their soul dots, which evens the odds, but we're at a disadvantage when it comes to supplies. True. This isn't the best location for getting outside help. The longer the war goes on, the harder it's gonna be to hold out. That said, we have no intention of giving up without a fight. Our enemies have occupied the capital and effectively taken the citizens, as well as the Imperial family, hostage. Even should the Goddess forgive them, I damn well won't! There's the scary ass you military need to yell officer. Quite that loudly. Besides, I don't think you'll find many who are willing to forgive them. Although, if anything, I'm just worried about how Fiona's doing. Yeah, I'm worried about Dad, too. I'm afraid I don't yet have any specific information regarding Heimdall's current situation. With control of the railways taken from us, we're limited on what we can actually do, I'm afraid. Sounds frustrating. Regardless, it's my turn to ask all of you something. Bearing all of what we've just discussed in mind, what do you intend to do from here on out? Well... Good question. You don't have the raw power that the Alliance or the Imperial Army's got. But you've still got a pretty significant weapon at your disposal. And one that neither side can afford to ignore. Plus these... This daring group would make a great covert team. You need to think long and hard about how you intend to use it. Oh, I agree completely. Balamar's power is incredible. That much is definitely true. These past few days have left me with no choice but to accept what I have. He can take on multiple soul dots at once and still come out on top. If used the right way, he could maybe even change the direction of this war. Keep in mind, it's all dependent on the strength of his Awakener. I hate to toss aside the subject of war so frivolously, but we also need to find some way to rescue Elise and Princess Alfin. If we focus on that, it makes perfect sense for us to support the Imperial Army and fight against the Noble Alliance. But... Lieutenant General, I'm afraid that we can't answer your question at the present time. At the very least, not until we've heard everyone's opinion. Oh? 
Hmm. We hate what the Alliance is doing as much as you do. So in that sense, we want to do what we can to help you fight against them. But I don't think it would be right for just the four of us to decide without everyone else's input. Yep. We need to find everyone else before making such a major decision. We make our decisions together. That's how we roll. For now, we solely want to put our focus on finding the rest of our classmates. Then, and only then, will we decide how best to approach this war. And what we as a class can do to help end it. I see. Once a member of Class 7, always a member of Class 7. <laughs> Can't say I'm all that surprised. Very well. You may have been separated from Thor's, but you still have every bit the spirit of a student. And it is the duty of students to absorb the world around them. Go forth, and when you're all together once again, find your role to play. Only then will I hear your answer. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Dad. I apologize for not being able to give you a better and more immediate answer. Not at all. What you said was perfectly reasonable, Reem. You will hear no objections from me. Whatever path you choose, I hope you see it through to the end. All the... That said, I'm conflicted about sending my dear Elliot away without proper protection. Should I send a company of troops with him? That might not be enough. He needs airships as well. Dad, stop. This is so embarrassing. He really is the most doting father I've ever seen. I bet a hundred Mir of the war would be over in no time flat if the Alliance ever tried to kidnap Elliot. <laughs> well, in that case... How would you like me to accompany you? I would love that. You, Captain? Are you sure? You're currently using Ymir as your base of operations, correct? Not only could I use my knowledge to better fortify it, I could also handle communications with other regions from there. This could be a good chance to reach out and find Milium as well. I haven't been able to contact her since the war broke out. Oh. Works for me. To be blunt, Ymir's borders are wide open. And the Alliance could take advantage of that at any time. We can't have another incident like with the Jaegers. Bringing her back just might be our best defense right now. I hate to admit it, but you're right. There's a limit to how much we can do. At the end of the day, we're students. We need to swallow our pride and take help where it's given. Especially from specialists like the two of you. And more important than all of that, I know we can trust you. You're right. Exactly. Captain Claire, we'd be honored to accept your kind offer. Welcome to the team. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. In addition to my duties as a member of the RMP, I hereby pledge my support to everyone in Class 7. Excellent. Well, with Captain Claire agreeing to join your party, they begin to make agreements to leave the military proving ground. Okay. Claire joined the party. Rain and Claire can now use Override when linked with each other. Okay. Well, let's take a look at Claire. You know, when she actually gets involved. Well, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel 2 as I do whatever it is I just said. I'm tired. I'm in this one here. I'm done recording. For today, anyway. Probably for a little while. I got a lot of editing to do and a lot of mess to clean up. But, no, that's important. I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.